Okay, so this is actually a little disclaimer before the video starts. I haven't started editing yet, but I was thinking back about what I recorded and I'm not sure if I mentioned at any point that what who I am talking to in this video is, in my opinion, the large majority of millennials, but not all. So I don't want like anyone to take offense to this being like, I don't think that way at all because I definitely know that there are millennials like myself that do not think this way. Um, but this video is mainly to either, well, one, give some certain millennials a little kick in the butt, or two, to encourage you to just have a better 2017. So let's get started. Hey there guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different and we're going to be talking about 2016 and my thoughts on whether it was the worst year ever. Alright, so if you guys watch YouTube a good amount, then you probably have seen a lot of people posting videos about how 2016 was their worst year yet. Whether it was election outcomes that they weren't happy with, or if it was personal experiences, or the amount of people that we lost in 2016. There are so many things that seem to be happening in the world on a personal level, on a global level, on a national level here in the US that it seems that overall everyone is just really disappointed in this year. And I want to come on to tell you guys that it's okay. So I want to encourage you guys that no matter what happened this year, maybe you're distraught by the election results, maybe you lost someone that's really close to you this year. Maybe you lost your job, or maybe you got a new job that you were excited about but you found out that it wasn't exactly what you expected it to be, or maybe you are just having financial issues. Whatever it may be for you, just don't take that negative feeling into 2017. The one thing that I have noticed with seeing these videos, one, it's great and it's a good thing to reflect back on what happened in the past year, but it's not a good thing to dwell on what happened in the past. If there's one thing I have learned about having PTSD, it's that dwelling on the past does not fix anything. It doesn't fix anything, guys. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help you move forward. The only thing you can do is sit here right now in this moment and say, tomorrow, the next month, the next year, the next five years, the next 10 years is going to be better. And I'm going to keep everything up here in a positive mindset so that I can get to that better place. I know I don't really do videos like this very often, so some of you guys may be like, Ariana, you're getting a little fired up. But we've mentioned before that one of the reasons we started YouTube is we wanted to instill the want to dream again into people. I think that that is a lot of what has to do with so many people's negativity is that they feel like they're stuck where they are. I don't mean to be frank, but I think that we live in a very victim heavy society right now where everyone just feels like they are a victim and they don't just want to be the leader of themselves even and take responsibility for, yeah, maybe someone else did you wrong that put you in the situation that you are right now, but you alone and you only are responsible for getting you out of there. You can't blame somebody else for staying where you are. You have to take control of your life and just say, no, no more. I'm not gonna be stuck here. I'm not happy where I am right now and that's not okay. One thing that I have been seeing a lot, and this may upset some of you guys, especially because I know a large majority of you that watch me are millennials yourselves, is that everyone is just, I'm triggered. You know, you're doing this to trigger. We live in such a trigger society where everyone's like walking on eggshells. And I've said it before on like other social media that if I had run away from every trigger I ever had with PTSD, do you think that I would be standing here today with a retired service dog and off all of my medication? No, I wouldn't have. I would not be anywhere near where I am today if I had just asked everyone to walk on eggshells around me and I had stayed away from everything that had the possibility of triggering me. I would have never gotten to where I am today. Stop, I'm just gonna be honest right now with you guys and this might get me some dislikes, I don't care. Stop asking people to walk on eggshells around you and stop asking people to cater to you. You need to take responsibility for your life. You need to take responsibility for where you are right now and make a positive decision to move it in a good direction. Stop blaming everyone else around you. And yes, I'm, I know I'm getting a little heated here guys. I am just, quite frankly, I'm really disappointed in my generation. Um, it really saddens me to see how they, they can't just take responsibility. A lot of my classmates are just getting out of college, just starting jobs, um, and that's a scary thing. I got married at 20, and so 
I've I'm now gonna be 24 soon so I've been like down this you know adulting life a little bit longer than my classmates have I can't help but sit here and see the comments on Facebook and see what these people are saying about how you know asking people to cater to them and running to their mothers and their fathers because somebody hurt their feelings and it's like guys this is real life this is how life works <laughs> not everyone's gonna like you I deal with hate comments every single day there's probably someone watching right now that's trying to figure out what they can write to me that's going to piss me off or hurt my feelings that's something that I've just kind of come to whatever I don't care hurting people hurt people and if it's gonna make someone feel a little bit better to bash me you know it's not gonna get them what they want in the long run but if it's gonna make them feel f better for a few seconds then okay whatever it's <laughs> I don't care <laughs> and I may have just been point-blank honest with you guys um, especially my fellow Millennials about kind of my thoughts at least on what is currently wrong with our generation and I think that the biggest issue is personal responsibility my husband did a video on this a while back and it really is the root of all, a lot of the issues, not all, but a lot of the issues is personal responsibility. People just don't want to take it. Even if it's someone else that puts you in that situation, like I said, it's your personal responsibility to get you out of it. It's not theirs, it's not someone else, it's not your dad, it's not your mom, it's not your aunt, it's not your uncle, it's not your grandparents, it's yours. Take responsibility. Some of the best things that you can experience in life are struggles. They are what is going to make you a better person, what is going to make you accomplish more. Hard work, a dedication, personal responsibility, respect for all people, that is what is going to help you accomplish things and get to where you want to be in life. Dream big, take the responsibility of getting that dream that you want and just do it guys. Make 2017 better than this year. Whatever it was for you this year that made it a crappy year, just make the decision that next year isn't going to be the same. And don't take your thoughts of this current year, which right now, you guys are watching this, I'm posting this on New Year's Day, so don't take the thoughts of last year, guys. Don't take those thoughts with you into this year. Make it different. Make it better, okay? You can do it. I believe in all of you guys. I know I don't personally know all of you guys, but I believe in you all, and I know that whatever it is in your mind that you wanna accomplish, short of trying to fly or do something you know that really is not possible you guys can do so just do it if you're a new youtuber and you're watching and you're looking for advice then just do what you love figure out what you love to create maybe 2017 one of your goals is to start a YouTube channel do it you don't need some fancy camera you don't need a ring light like I have you don't need to make yourself some alien eyes like I have right now just Go find yourself a nice window, set up your cell phone camera, and start recording whatever it is that you're passionate about and talk about it. Guys, I'm gonna leave you with that. Just make 2017 better. Make this year that we're in now because you're watching this on New Year's Day, make it better. I hope you guys had fun at your New Year's parties last night. I hope you guys got at least a little bit of sleep today. And welcome to 2017, and I will see you guys actually probably the end of this week with another video. Bye.